My name is Design Martinez, and I am a mathematics major, and I did my research on multiple myeloma. Now, multiple myeloma is a rare form of bone marrow cancer that has cancerous plasma cells invade your bloodstream and in turn affect your kidney, skeletal, and nervous system. This disease predominantly affects Black Americans and is usually not diagnosed until stage three. So using a data set from a study in Algeria, I had to decipher what specific medical biomarkers are indicative of stage three. I used a logistic regression and in the initial model, I inputted 21 variables using the stepwise function, which was able to keep and throw out a variable at each step. And in the final model, three variables came out, which were MCHC, creatinine clearance, and albumin. You can see in the ROC curve that the final model displays the concordance index of 0.6543, which means that the model was able to distinguish 65.43% of the time between whether patients have stage three versus stage one or two multiple myeloma cancer, which is higher than a coin toss. Out of those three variables, MCHC was the best predictor of stage three of multiple myeloma. And MCHC stands for mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration, which is the average amount of hemoglobin you have packed in your red blood cells in order to give your bloodstream oxygen to facilitate a healthy immune system. MCHC was able to distinguish between multiple myeloma stage three, so I investigated its relationship with the cancer separately. So as you can see, the MCHC levels are significantly lower than the normal level of 34 grams per deciliter. 34 is the average normal MCHC level according to the National Library of Medicine website, but using a one mean t-test, I found that the average MCHC for patients in Algeria were between 32.9 and 33.5 grams per deciliter. However, the interval is in the current standard for normal levels. This overly wide interval for normal may be the reason why this disease goes misdiagnosed until stage three. Also, multiple myeloma patients are subject to bone pain and prone to bone lesions, which are soft spots that appear on your bones. So using a chi-squared test of independence, I tested the relationship between bone lesions and stage of cancer. You can see in my 100% stag bar chart that stage three patients had more lesions, but interestingly enough, 10% of those patients did not report to having any lesions, which conveyed how inconsistent this disease is and how you cannot compare your diagnosis to someone else. And it also iterated the fact to me that even at stage three, you can live a little normally and not ultimately succumb to the disease.